Maybe we start talking mana. <laughs> mana? Nobody freak out that the show's called Tech Babble. It, it, it's a new year. It's a reboot. You know, it, yeah, we have Bob reboot. Yes, Bob has rebooted us. <laughs> I am Bob from reboot. <laughs> but, he, but, he, but he won't use that picture because he's afraid Sopa will shut us down. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so instead you get a red dragon with, um, you know, which we can't yeah. even tell is that. And I have a logo and a Missouri Park on a concrete. Yeah, and for those of you wondering why we're not doing video, we've been having bandwidth issues, so it, it's we stuff will happen. in the sky. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, they can actually see your glowing boxes. They just can't see you. Like I said, voices in the sky. Ah, the voices in the sky go clip clop. They tell me to do things. <laughs> Anyways, we haven't been doing true PC v Mac for a while, so uh, is this Tech Babble? We had a series called Tech Babble Once Upon a Time Warp, but uh, I don't remember what episode it ended on, and I can't decide if we're going to call this episode 700 something, or we're going to call it episode 01, or, or what. We'll figure that out by the time we publish it, but this is, uh, y'all let us know on that. Uh, one of the things we were talking about before the show is y'all never give us feedback, and I would like y'all to use the like-dislike buttons down there, you know? It, I'm not, like, saying only click like. If you think we suck, that's what the dislike's for. <laughs> Hence the reason the name of the show. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> We use an X, not that god awful CK. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for the nomenclature. My bad. <laughs> where the cool sucks. <laughs> oh, okay, where the, now the Let's move on. Yeah, yeah. Where do we want to start? Do we want to do New Year's stuff first? Yes. Do we want to play around with the shorter format uh, this show, or just go old format for this show? Uh, New Year, why not try and do? Okay. Yeah, it's a new start. Okay, so what do we want to start with? The tech, WTF, New Year's. Uh, pick, pick a topic. <laughs> Those of you who can't tell, we have asked the show. Hope it doesn't show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we rehearse all the time. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I guess you can start with. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to start with tackles already. Yeah, for the. Why does it not work? Oh, I don't really want to get into the sofa debate quite yet. That's a good long discussion. <laughs> Politics goes open source. I guess you can start that. Oh, you're going to go up there. Sure, why not? That's the political crap. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's start with the going dirty. All right. <laughs> I was actually going to skip all of that shit, but because that's all the political stuff. So she's a whole... We can, we, can, we can skip it. It's fine. Oh, we can go into it if y'all want to, but that's like a whole can of worms, and I thought we'd start the year off a little light. Oh, this is... All right. Well, let's start something up. Siri uses data. Uh, okay, we're starting with Apple. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go to Apple on order. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Uh, you know, that's, that's one of those just weird things. It wasn't that long ago, every, and this is old for anybody who's been watching stuff. This came up a while ago, but um, basically what's going on there is... You know, big surprise, Siri is a cloud-based service. And the same way on your Android phone, every time you use the voice search, it goes and talks to some server farm to prompt a request into instructions that the Android device can do something with quick enough. Uh, which is how Siri works. You know, it offloads it somewhere else. You say things, it does things. The instructions come back, the phone does stuff. Uh, this uses data. 
I don't know why people are surprised about this, but the way the stories are being reported is like with the Windows thing. Oh, it's using data I didn't know it was using. And I, I, I don't agree with that. I, I don't like Apple, but it, it, I mean, is anybody honestly naive enough to think that that isn't using a good chunk of data? Well, yeah, basically it uses data each direction. So it, it's using a good chunk of data. And oh, it, I like to have it be going like upstream, like instead of going downstream, when it goes downstream, it's just a text, and then it's just like a text to speech translator, you know? That, that's not the way Siri works. I know, but it would be more ideal if it did that. It, it, in theory, Siri is a person. <laughs> It has to be Yeah, she's a person that doesn't like children. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to get into that yet. <laughs> well, we'll get into that in a little bit. <laughs> no. this, is why, this is why I started the Siri topic. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah. the children. Uh, honestly, this is a fundamental reason why we should not have these data caps because as these innovations like Siri, like Google uh, voice search, like anything else that is using augmented distributed computing to augment these devices to make them work more seamlessly to allow more stuff to be done. Yeah, basically, it's gonna. Be, I, I mean, it's like the, it's like that new uh, Android phone. It's like it has all these features that use data. <laughs> and guess what? You have a data cat. <laughs> so you can't use these features. And you know, it's just now Apple's getting this. You know, Siri. Well, you can use it as long as you don't mind paying for every Siri query. Say that again, Tommy. Wi-Fi instead of get past that, or what? You could get past the data cap that way, but uh, as far as I know, iOS does not have a way to limit individual applications to, uh, unless they're set up that way. So you have to turn on 3G, like, on purpose. Uh, I, you can't just make a great firewall as, okay, this can't access 3G unless you're going to be jailbroken. Yeah. You, you can't do that on a stock iPhone, and that's, that's something that will get some people in trouble, especially if they're kissing their data cap. <laughs> ah. Except for those annoying grandfathering people. Yeah, we hate people like you. Yeah. I don't hate people like that. One of them was my flatmate. He's, he's, in a, he's in a contest to figure out how much data he can use out of AT&T before they complain. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to say that, you know, like, in, in reference to the, you know, the, I pretend to be one of the big, you know, at and Verizon dudes, like, oh, we hate people like you. We watch it up, Greg, you're playing. <laughs> yep, it's gonna happen. Yeah. I, you know, that is eventually going to come to a head. Like, the, I'm sure every one of those people will eventually be forced to upgrade their plan. Like, I, 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 I th here's how I think it's going to happen, because if you notice all the grandfathered people are on 3G, what yeah. it's going to be is we don't sell 3G phones anymore, so you have to buy a 4G phone. And guess, excuse me, you have to buy a 4G plan because the new devices are 4G. And guess what? They're all metered. <laughs> My guess is that's how they'll do it. So basically, those people will never be able to buy a new phone. Well, in a few more years, because you know, the UK, there's no 4G there at all. But they'll say it's 4G phones, therefore you must have a 4G plan, even though there's no 4G. Well, that would be kind of useless if you live out in the sticks and you don't have 4G. But, it, but if you'll notice, you know, all the metered plans are 4G plans. You know, the plans that include 4G, you have to buy them because you bought a 4G phone. When there's no more 3G phones left for people with unlimited 3G data plans. Oh, so once those tired of this container, you're SOL. It's right. Basically, when your phone breaks, you have to, like, go to eBay and find somebody else's used, unlocked phone. <laughs> yeah. I know that's what they're going to do. Does it, 
either. I mean, you're being silent on that, Bob. Do you think I'm wrong? No, I really don't. I really think that. <laughs> that one, that one surprised me. I'll do that. <laughs> I, I think once the 4G, and I use that term as as a buzzword more than anything else. Yeah, because what's the deal with it? Why max? What? as depending on your company, some it's HSP plus or HSPA plus, and LTE is for Verizon, and WiMAX is for uh, Sprint. Um, but I think once that becomes the norm, like 3G is now, that's when you're going to see a lot of these grandfathered in people like me and you know other people that have those caught on 3G unlimited plans are going to be forced more or less to upgrade to that 4G uh, cap tier right. DS that they're selling. The only way I don't see that happening is if by the time that transition happens, they have shifted back to unmetered plans, which I'm not seeing happen, unfortunately. Well, that because they can get away with it. Yeah, well, and well, it's not, you got to remember, a lot of these companies, you know, a lot of these telecom companies are not just providing wireless services either. They're, they have other branches. It, that it's see, yeah, that is companies. the thing I, that drives me nuts. Okay, if you want to have metered, that's fine. But you have to count every service you give me that you provide against the cap two. We've talked about this. They're not going to do that. Well, yeah, because it hurts their anti-competitive edge. <laughs> yeah, and you know, like Congress isn't going to do anything about it. <laughs> no, because Congress, is, as of right now, is more than a bunch of jackals. <laughs> no, what I was going to say is they're more of the mentality that it's their networks that they can do what they want. Yes, but there's only five people that don't know the networks. <laughs> well, that, that's because we dictated, uh, our, our government dictated through federal regulation that the agalopoly was good. Uh, yes. <laughs> kind of like the duopoly for telecom and wireless is good, too. <laughs> Okay. Do we want to do we want to move on to the what the effortness or do we want to comment on the Siri backtalk before we move into this particular one? <laughs> I see you're talking about Steve Jobs action figure. <laughs> okay, he brought it up. <laughs> but I'd say we I see we mentioned first how much of a bitch Siri can be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently Siri likes to say Okay, if there are any virgin ears in the room, shield them. Fuck. And another word, too. <laughs> um, yeah, this happened in the UK. And, and you know, I think this, they're acting like, oh, poor child. The girl's 12. Okay, I'm sure she's heard these words. Yeah, I'm sure she's, I'm sure she's heard fuck and the C word before. However, basically what happened is a 12-year-old girl picked up Siri, she asked Siri a question, and Siri told her to shut the expletive up expletive. <laughs> Insert expletive and expletive, which we have already explained what they are. So basically, Siri called a 12-year-old girl a, a effing you-know-what. <laughs> In front of her mother. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Great voice recognition. Apple. Great voice recognition. The Apple is bewildered. Basically, the, 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 the offending phone in question is going back for inspection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like that is. <laughs> yeah, as we just pointed out, Siri queries are sent off to a server. So, you know, this is trying to be downplayed like somebody did something to this particular phone, which was in the store and hadn't been sold to anybody. So, you know, was it the, was it the people in China that made it? Was it one of the employees in the store? No, it was a server. Or is this an Easter egg the Siri people have left in the Siri servers and we're going to see more of them as time persists? <laughs> it was to be one of those adult kind of things. <laughs> it, that, that's like some of the Android market, you know, keyboard replacements or what have you. They don't have certain words in there defaultly. 
Right? But if they action. have, but no, if they have the AI, and, you know, they scan your phone for like messages that you use, and you use particular expletives, your phone uh, will pick that up. So what you're thinking happened here is former people demoing this phone had a dirty mouth. <laughs> yeah, I think mommy has a party mouth. No, no, this was a demo phone in a store. Uh, well, well in, in theory, Siri is an AI, correct? In theory. Essentially. In theory <laughs> is what it's supposed to be. So it, it has to be self aware. No, it doesn't have to be self aware. <laughs> it just has to learn lingo and whatnot. And apparently, it learned someone's potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't know it wasn't supposed to say this to children. Who I, and again, the story is children. The the girl is twelve. Why that isn't an adult? That's a tweet. It, well, whatever you call a twelve year old, it, it you know, parents love to think, oh, the, the child's virgin ears. I, okay, if the kids that play out here are there. any indication. <laughs> figure that's just wrong. <laughs> it's the it's action. Not a doll. Okay, it's not a G.I. Joe, hence it's a doll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think they're very good. What about G.I. Joe? Action figure doll, it doesn't matter. The end thing here is that it's not he, needed. <laughs> well, no, uh, you know what? Uh, I tend to agree with the story here. Um, Apple sh probably shouldn't fight this even though they're going to. And that is, for those of you who have no idea what we're talking about, uh, people have started making Steve Jobs dolls. <laughs> uh, because why, in California, where Apple lives, you maintain control of your likeness for 70 years after death, which means Apple and the Steve Jobs estate control any use of any likenesses of Steve Jobs for the next 70 years. In many places in the world, He's dead. We can use him however we want. We can make him do whatever we want. He is our puppet. I want one of these dolls now. <laughs> we can have fun with one of these dolls, actually. <laughs> well, well we, we were talking about giving away something for crowd interaction. Uh, we could like pro we could take a Steve Jobs doll and program it to do the most. Yeah, we can have fun with that. thread to put down below in the sun. If you had a Steve Jobs doll, what would you make Steve Jobs do? Oh, that would be wrong. <laughs> and this is when you put tux next to Steve Jobs. I mean, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, that wouldn't be wrong at all. There'd be like a spontaneous combustion of one of those, you know, I don't know, the tux to the jobs would just spontaneously combust from having to be, I don't even know which one. don't know, we're toying around with a new format, and I really should have changed the words up there. Instead of saying Season Delta, we should have said Fun with Apple and All Land. <laughs> we'll call the episode that. But we're, we're basically... I'm going to put all the shows in a playlist like I normally do, but we're also creating mini-sodes of breaking it up into 
more manageable individual content. So for those who just want the Apple stuff, it'll be over here. For those who just want the Google stuff, it'll be over here and so on and so forth. Because that's a complaint we've got a lot. And we realize that there is an ADD academic and it, it has taken over YouTube. So. <laughs> All right. See y'all in the next part. And there you go. <laughs>